you're saying, what's your first motion? And my first motion on bench is to keep it as a fly and rotate in. With and this so bar. Right now, yeah, so this bar. And then right now what we're doing is I would like to change it from a press to a contraction of just the shoulder. Could you imagine right. being able to do this with that kind of weight relative to this? It's almost just, like what we did on the wall. Just like the wall, but with a heck of a lot more weight right. in such a odd range because it has to be even to both sides to work together. Take your whip time on the way down on the first. I know, I know. Stay there. And also like the, the cue of allowing your muscle to do the negative. That's a big one. I picked up on the first one. You start you just, the drop. It's like no, don't warm up that way. You don't want to have to move your body to get back into position. So. As you come down and open up, you should already be there. You shouldn't have to move, and then you just press right back up. Bert, like, what, what would you move? Move your head. Like, if you come with your head's up, heads up, move your head down to get out of the way. Right. Move your chest in to get down like that. Okay. You want to be able to stay there with your arms back far enough so that you don't have to cave in that chest. Yeah. As you come down. Because then you have to pick up the chest to press. What was that cue you just gave me about the chest? Because I, I felt that instantly. You want to keep the chest as high as you possibly can as you come down. I always imagine that I'm pulling. You know, you pull that bar down into position. Right. And then push it up. So you're always under control, especially with something like this. That's what the whole point of this bar is. Damn, Mark, save it. Damn. It's all the way to the middle. There it is. Open, open. Nice. Sweet. Jeez. Oh. Mo's Mo. Oh, Take your fucking time. Manhandle this shit. Manhandle. Slow. Control. Control. Pure day. You can see on the second one was easier, even though I put my hands on it. It was a balance act, and it was just yeah. such a. For me, holy sheesh! This is what Titan will be doing. You can't help but contract the muscle. No. If you have, let's say you're just a beginner and you've never had a connection with the muscle and shoulder press. You're like, I don't know. I feel it in the chest and triceps. You can't not feel this in the shoulder or on chest when we do chest down, upright rows, back. Yeah, it changes the mechanics completely from a press to that sliding inward contraction. But it also makes the muscle has to do the work. Oh yeah, This isn't no speed. Way. This isn't bouncing into and bouncing out. If you do that, yes, no? Correct. Um, I know. I think they're going to go, yeah. just use dumbbells. Just use dumbbells. Oh, they always do. They always do that. And that shows their level of understanding. It's like yeah. at a... At a I was doing this yesterday with like the hex press where you put the dumbbells together and what that changes for me because normally I guess people would look at it maybe go oh this is a tricep movement because your grip is close. What I focus on is the uh, tension uh, in this vector and that activates my pec in a different way that I just don't get from even something out here like so that's a similar thing I'm feeling because you have to come in it just you are contracting this way, right, against something, you know, a force that way, you're balancing it in against something else. So it feels like a different movement, you know, for sure. It doesn't so feel like a dumbbell press. Basic. It's not that you do it, it's how you do it. Yeah. Man. And it's wide either, like, you're not gonna do a dumbbell press with any significant weight out here, no. right? You're gonna maybe come here and have a little bit of 
inward motion, but to do this and have an actual arc That's is unique to this part. Because yeah. you can do that with much more resistance than you would with dumbbells. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that hurts, just three of them, like wow. It's a shame we're only doing three reps because that's not volume and that's not uh, intensity. Hypertrophy, high volume, per hypertrophy. Hypertrophy. It's not hypertrophy, it's not hyperplasia. I can't even spell that. But don't worry about it, I'm not even doing it, so. This is talking dirty. He said, what would it be like, we drop down to a quarter, then put bands on it, because of the pressing of the rotation at the peak would be so much heavier, but yeah. still the bottom would be opening up. And it's like, that's talking dirty. That's just, Ooh. he took this and went there, oh. where everybody else, well, that's a question for all you guys right now. Why did you go there when all of them will go, guys, there's better exercise, just go over and do dumbbells. How did they completely miss the conversation? Oh, I would just think because they're kind of they're scared of it, right? So you get into it and you feel like it's not comfortable essentially, initially, right? Get in, you're shaky, you're weird, you have to find that motion. My thought is, well, it would be more comfortable if I was locked down. And I find that the bottom of the motion is the hardest part to activate correctly. I want to push up from the bottom. Whereas if I just did a half rep, I could go here probably all day, right? But coming down, I lose my stability and I'm wide open. So if that was lighter and the force was pulling down onto the floor, I could squeeze into it and the resistance would get heavier as I came up. So I just think that seems like a good way to make it idiot proof. Of course, you have to be smart enough to put it together. <laughs> Trying to pull it apart on the way down, like which I suppose engages your shoulders or any muscle a little bit like rather than you're as you're moving the bar, it's not moving you. Right. And you're not like collapsed underneath it. You're bringing it into the position you want. Yeah. Same with the you know the leg extensions like you showed me. Turns it from a passive to an active. So whatever that cue means, I'm like, what does that cue really mean? It's active, right? Nothing's moving. Notice that nothing else is moving besides that joint. Everything else completely still. Did it. What was Ooh. different there? Um, I can honestly just warmed up. Oh yeah, warmed up. Ten sets later, I'm warmed up because now it's. I'm hoping there's very little bend in the elbow besides the break, um, and, and the then it was range. just the contraction of the palms to overhead to the stretch. Okay, and it was no pressing involved. Uh, I see. How can you do behind the neck press without any press? What do you call this? Like uh, a contraction? It's a squeeze. Yeah, a squeeze. Uh, this would be called, I think, from what I've been told, is the uh, snowflake behind the neck, shoulder press, straight arm, <laughs> lateral raise. 
upright rope. 